singing in the rain, just singing in the rain. What a glorious feel, and I'm happy again. I'm laughing at clouds so dark up above. The sun's in my heart, and I'm ready for love. Let the stormy clouds chase everyone from the place. Come on with the rain, I have a smile on my face. I walk. That was, of course, Singing in the Rain, with a lovely demonstration of topography, which is what we're looking at this week. Topography is the patterns we create through movement in the space, according to Tina Landau and Anne Bogart, not to be confused with uh, the topography uh, that geographers talk about. We're looking at the way the body moves in space, the topography of people and characters. So let's go back to that first clip that we saw from singing in the rain. So there we see the topography of love. Lots of lovely curves in the way that he's moving, even the way he swings his feet from side to side as he steps down the street, swings around a lamp post, hugs the lamp post. We see lots of detours, jumps, not a whole lot of straight lines unless he wants to make a point. And of course lots of large gestures going with it as well because his body is unbound by the freedom that comes with true love. Now as I've said before, different people express themselves through different viewpoints. Something that one person might express through gesture, another person might express through tempo. So let's go back. You might recall from the shape lecture we looked at how shape was used by the character in this ad. Let's see how we can use topography for the same thing. I can't believe that guy accepted a quote like that. That or that haglin we normally get. Yeah, but it's still gotta be tight though, mate. Yeah, but we got it, right? Too right we did. <laughs> Stay there. So what the bus driver uh, expressed through shape, his dismay, his horror, was expressed through topography by the bus driver as he staggers away from what he sees inside the car. One way to start thinking about or looking at topography is to look at the footprints that characters create. So imagine that your characters or the people that you're watching had coloured paint on their shoes. What would be the trail that they leave through the space? So on that note, let's have a look at some footprints created in space and see what story they tell. So there's one pattern. Have a think about what that pattern creates, and we'll look at it in class. What's this story here? What is the character here doing? Now, as you may have guessed from this last one, topography tells us not only about a particular character, but also perhaps about their attitudes or relationships to other characters. I've just looked at topography uh, by imagining footprints, coloured footprints from people with paint on their shoes. But don't let that limit the way you look at topography. If we go back to the definition, topography is the patterns we create through movement in the space. So we're not just talking about footprints, but the patterns of all the parts of our body, the way we move our arms, the, the curves or the straight lines. So we have an example here, a photo 
taken of someone doing parkour and we can see from the freeze frames the pattern that they're creating in space, not just with their feet, but with their whole body. So one of the things that OK Go are playing with here in this video clip is topography. This happens that they're able to create through space. And I also really enjoy the topography of the goose that they befriend while doing this clip. You can see that goose follow them through most of the clip. Now you can catch the rest of that clip on YouTube and I would suggest you do. It's got some really lovely use of topography, um, really highlighting the patterns that we make in space by speeding things up, slowing things down, playing with tempo to accentuate topography. But what has this got to do with acting? So now let's see how the good people at Pixar use topography. So you can see in this clip, the topography is literally mapped out behind Wally and Eve by the trail behind them. And you can see that Wally's got a sort of zigzaggy pattern coming out of his slightly clumsy, awkward character, while as Eve has beautiful arcs, being the lady that she is. Now, we're going to go for a break. Uh, as you go for a break, Observe your own topography and those people around you. So, as usual, take a break, go get a drink, go to the loo, and see what topography you see around you. 